Excellent, excellent. Oh, by the way, one thing that came to mind as I was parked out there and I saw the numbers on the hotel. Right. There is no mail delivery here on Saipan. Really? There are very few street names. I mean, you'll see street names, but no, they're very recent. Right. And no one, including myself, knows what street we live on <laughs> because there's no mail delivery. So there's no reason to know a street name unless you're filling out a, a government um, form right. that requires it. And even then, we have to look it up. We have to find a lot number, all of that stuff. So anyway, <laughs> anyway the only reason there's a new push now to get um, numbering, but it's not for mail delivery. It's mainly for the EMS services, so that uh, they can have okay. a, an easier time finding, you know, who they're coming out to, right. to help. But yep, no mail delivery. You either have to get a PO box from the uh, U.S. Postal Service or pay thirty bucks a month. I remember a few weeks ago you asked me where I was staying. Mm -hmm. So I gave you the the, right. ad, the, meant the name and then the, yeah the address I, it didn't make any sense right, to me right. either so I'm glad to say that. <laughs> nothing to anyone so I just had to look it up by the beach now <laughs> and the other part of that is I just asked the young lady at Saipan Cares for Animals where they're located right and this is how it typically goes do you know Beach Road oh. yes do you know Middle Road yes do you know where this Shell gas station is on Middle Road <laughs> yes across from the Shell gas station in a green building we are on the um, uh, first floor. Simple as that. <laughs> wow. Yep. And that starts been for, since 2006. Since <laughs> so that's why if someone asks for directions, I had a girl from couch surfing staying with me once. Yeah. And, the, and then she went to stay with someone else on Saipan and that person wanted to drop her back at my place. So she called me up and said, hey Walt, where do you live? They want to drop me back at your place. So I said, okay, how long have they been on the island? <laughs> And she said, oh, what well, do you need to know that for? <laughs> and I said, because the directions I'm about to give them, some of the place names require, if you've been here less than a few number right. of years, if I say we're at the Arizona building, you won't know what that is. <laughs> true. <laughs> I'll have to find a different uh, landmark. But you know Shirley's. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, but she still couldn't under understand. Even I think, then, wow. <laughs> Uh, girl from Hong Kong, but I, she just thought, well, she probably just thought I was weird. <laughs> People don't usually say, well, how do you get to your place? Well, how long have you been on the island first? No kidding, it's that just, is, it is funny. A, it's a weird thing to ask. <laughs> but that's how life is on right. uh, the island. These are not all one litter. Okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs>